Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today we're going to make an Ian type beat in FL Studio. You guys will get the project files for free. Just go to BusyWorksBeats.com slash FL Studio. So I got to be honest, I was thrown off by his album cover because I, I thought it was going to be like a different type of sound. But then when I heard his actual sound, I was like, this is the sound? Why didn't nobody tell me? So shout out to Ian. His sound is very like Lil Wayne era South Beats. Um, the prime of when we were in sound click so that's kind of the sound selection i'm going for here first we're going to start with nexus this is the go-to for all things this era let's use their dance orchestra to get started and then we'll wrap around we'll probably use electra maybe use um purity it depends on this like vibe i'm getting so first i'm going to start with the rhythm here so 2d brass from the dance orchestra was like the go-to thing i'm using this as a rhythm setter let's right click tap the tempo mm. So it's very danceable. Let's do 136 BPM. Let's pull this down an octave. Control down. And then we're just going to use a lot of half steps to bounce. So it's tre, si, o, tre, si, o, tre, si. If I sped the BPM up, we do tre, si. So that's tresio, but what happens if we spread it to twice the length? Let me see here. It's kind of tricky with this thing. It would look like this. Okay, so that's tresio, but spread out. Okay, so that's kind of hard to teach at double the BPM. So that's what creates that bounce. Dun, dun, dun. Now you could thicken this up by taking these notes. Hit control down. We're gonna use that as like the bounce layer, okay? There's four layers to this beat. We're gonna have a top line, which is probably gonna be like a synth, like a Lil John type synth. Then we have harmony, which is our chord section, a contrast layer, which is what we're using right now, and then a rhythm section where we add the bounce. So right now I would consider this a contrast. Usually lower frequencies are the contrast layer. Okay, now let's throw in our percussion here because we wanna make sure that we're building around a bounce and not trying to force a bounce onto something. Let's grab our snares. Okay, so you're looking at rolling snares here. Let's just kind of stack a couple up. It's the cool thing about these snares, you can stack them up. They're very lightweight. We're not looking for anything acoustic. We're looking for more synthetic type sounds. Okay, so let's go to the pattern mode and listen for the the three and the seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the bounce. Now let's start layering this snare. And now we can add little bounce snares in between. Okay, let's add this rhythm in. Now we want a BPM, you want the snares to be danceable. So if you start making it to where it sounds like too fast, where people can't even move in sync with it, then you're losing the vibe of this kind of genre. Let's add some open hi-hats. The open hi-hats is also a key part of the sound. So I don't know why there's like 80,000 open hi-hats here. So let's, tr let's make this a length shorter. We only want the one. Again, you guys get the project files for free, so don't try to memorize all this. We're gonna put the open hi-hats on the downbeat, so turn the metronome on. Let's go to the wrench tool, turn up time shift a little bit. Let's add some closed hi-hats in here. Let's use a different kit. Let's use maybe Hitmaker's kit, just more modern hi-hat. Now your hi-hats don't need to be all the way through it. They could be, you could switch them up. So it could be like You could switch it up here. I don't know why these notes sound weird. Let me double check this sample here. Trying to figure out why this sounds so high pitched. There we go. Whoa, sorry. So it's one, two, three, four, 
Okay, so here on the second one, we're gonna make it unique it's to be. Okay, now let's go to song mode. We're gonna do pattern four and five back to back here. See how the rhythm. You can already feel that danceability. Okay, so now we need a little more clap activity. One, two, clap, two, three, four, clap, two, one, two, clap, two, three, four, clap. Let me show you guys how they added bounce back in the day too. They would use vocal chants. I know I'm moving kind of quick through these sound libraries, but there's a crowd vocal chant and it went, ah. So they're bringing vocal chants back. So our wish came true. I forget what year it was, but I was like, guys, we need to bring vocal chants back. And then you guys brought vocal chants back and I'm proud of y'all. So let's, this is what keeps that head bounce type sound. This is what made DJ Mustard's bounce so unique. It would be like, I, hi, or hey. So don't forget to use that little vocal chant. It's gonna be a huge part to the bounce. Another thing, they don't use like super hard 808s. They're using like very soft 808s. Uh, the softest one that is still kind of pointy is called the Spins 808. There's different ones here. We're just gonna use, oh, I already have one loaded up. I'm just gonna use this one. Now what I'm gonna do though is play this by hand. Uh, we're gonna play a rhythm. We're not worried about the notes, just the rhythm. Let me turn my mic off on him. Okay, so again, that's gonna be based on your style. My style is just, I jump octaves to create a push-pull effect. And it's tre si yo, tre si yo. That's the pattern. Tre si o. So it's tre si o, tre si o si o. So that's the pattern that I'm using to create that bounce. It's all about tre si yo. Another thing I like to do is delay the 808 just a little bit. Now we gotta add like the glow sound, which is like high frequency sounds or more brass. Okay, so let's take in the sound out with more brass. Also, let's, we're starting to get a little heavy on the channel here. Let's just add a fruity soft clip. Okay, now we're gonna go to Electra X. I'll see if I can, I don't know this plugin like the back of my hand, but let's just see what kind of synth sounds we can get out of here. I'm just gonna mute my mic until we find a vibe. I'm playing the keys with my keyboard. Cool, I didn't know my mic was on. Uh, really, that's really Lil John era type sound. I'm gonna quantize only because I started playing fast at the end. Let's hit Alt Q. Let's start sending everything to the mixer here. Let's highlight all these, hit Control L. We just played a half step here, which is just one note and then one note directly above. we need to find some brass let's go to nexus 5 factory um let's see it's hard to see let's go to brass let's see what kind of brass so i think there's one here it is this one is crazy for this type of vibe so you got to know how to stack the sound in 
forgot if we even played chords. Did we play harmonies yet? I don't think so. So we played a top line. You know, technically, hold on. Our 808 is really a contrast slash rhythm. Really, it's part of the rhythm section, to be honest. And what I forgot what this was contrast. And then we have our top line. So we're missing harmony. So let's add that in. tricky if I'm going to play a triad or not. That's the kind of thing that I'm trying to debate in my head, the playing style. Let's add a blank pattern in here. Let's just trigger it with MIDI instead of my controller. Because we're doing the half step thing, but the question is like what? So we're definitely going from G to G sharp. Let's turn this down a little bit. Okay, so we can use this pattern, but now we need to harmonize. So let's take these. We could pull it down to C, which is a perfect fifth down. Seven notes down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's called a perfect fifth. So they harmonize, but now it's like, okay, where's the root note? If that's a perfect fifth away, do we use the minor? The minor feels too dark. The major feels too happy. So it's like, do we even use the, inter the middle interval? Uh, here's where we can debate, you know, pulling this down an octave but I feel like this is too musical. So for this, we're gonna just stick with fifths and then copy the top note, pull it down. sound very tucked now let's just mix this real quick on the mix bus I'm, i am slamming the track here so i want to be like i want to caution people so i'm slamming this for harmonics purposes you could even hear it in my voice we're going to push this preamp and then that's going to go into the soft clipper then we're going to run into a multi-band compressor just to kind of keep everything linear and maybe a limiter now we're not doing the craziest mastering here this is not like an entire chain and i might not even be able to put l2 on here but let's see
at the project files for free. So that's the trap we used to make. Very fun, danceable trap. Go to busyworksbeats.com slash flstudio to get these project files for free. If you guys want to learn how to make beats like the pros, join now. Go to busyworksbeats.com slash premium. We have an end of the year deal called the Black Box Bundle where 68 of my music production courses plus six of my plugins plus all our sound packs. So just go to busyworksbeats.com slash premium and I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace out.